Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in two different colors. The yarn is in size 4 medium and knitting needles in size 5.5 millimeters. So I'll start by leaving a medium sized tail and then I'll make a slip knot. Now I need to cast on 15 stitches. This one already counts as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So now for row one I'll turn my work around. Now I'll start by knitting the first stitch, knit the next stitch, knit the next stitch, knit the next stitch. So we continue knitting all the stitches throughout row one. For row 2 I'll use yarn in a different color, then I'll turn my work around. With the yarn in color B, I'll knit 4 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. And now I'll turn my work around, then I'll knit the next 4 stitches. So 1, 2, three and four. Now for the next row I'll turn my work around then I'll switch the yarn in color A. So with the yarn in color A I'll knit the first stitch and I'll knit the next stitch. So I'll continue knitting all the stitches I have two stitches left at the end of row two. I'll knit this first stitch, then I will purl this last stitch. So this completes row two. Now for row three, I'll turn my work around, then I will purl this first stitch, then I'll purl the next stitch, and now I'll knit all the stitches. yarn in color B again and now I'll knit the next six stitches so one two three four five and six and now that I've knitted six stitches I'll turn my work around and I'll knit the next six stitches again so one two three four five and six. Now for, I will use yarn in uh, color A. Then I'll knit all the stitches.
Two stitches left at the end of row four. I'll knit the first stitch and then I'll purl the last stitch. Now for turn my work around and then I'll purl the first two stitches. Now I'll knit the rest of the stitches. I'll turn my work around and I'll use yarn in color A. I'll knit the first eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'll turn my work around. Then I'll knit the next eight stitches. tricky to explain this pattern because uh, some rows are just halfways and some rows are complete so that's why it's a bit more trickier so hopefully you guys will understand what I'm saying so now I'll use yarn in color A then I'll knit all the stitches Turn my work around. Then I'll purl the next two stitches. Then I'll knit all the stitches throughout row six. Then I'll use yarn in color A and now I'll knit the first 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now that I knitted the first 10 stitches, I'll turn my work around. Then I'll knit these uh, 10 stitches again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. For the next row, I'll turn my work around. Then I'll use yarn in color A. Then I'll knit all the stitches throughout this row. And now that I have only two stitches left, I'll knit the first stitch, then I'll purl the next stitch. This pattern is going to be challenging for a lot of people and it's kind of very tricky for me to explain it as well because I never made anything of this sort before. But my mom is here and she is trying to challenge me here <laughs> and challenging me she is. She wants me to try different patterns and some of them is very hard to to explain, like this one for instance. So I'm gonna do the best as I can and hopefully you guys will be able to understand. Now for the next row, 
I'll turn my work around then I'll purl the next two stitches and then I'll knit rest of the stitches so I'll knit every stitch throughout this row and at this point I'm not going to even count the rows because uh, honestly it's getting too complicated so I am kind of worried that I might be confusing you guys more than help For the next row, I'll turn my work around, then I'll use yarn in color A. Now I'll knit the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now I'll turn my work around again. Then I'll knit the rest of these eight stitches. So I'll turn my work around and I'll use yarn in color A. Then I'll knit all the stitches until we reach the end of this row. At the end of this row, I'll knit the first stitch, then I'll purl the last stitch. Now I'll turn my work around. Then I'll purl the first two stitches. Then I'll knit the rest of the stitches. For the next row, I'll turn my work around, then I'll use yarn in color B. Then I'll knit the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'll turn my work around. I'll knit the next six stitches again. For the next row, I'll turn my work around, then I'll use yarn in color A. Then I'll knit all the stitches until I reach the last stitches of this row. If you have only two stitches left, I'll knit the first stitch, then I'll purl the last stitch. Now for the next row, I'll turn my work around. Then I'll start by purling the first two stitches. Knit all the stitches throughout this row. Place this row. Now for the next row, I'll turn my work around and I'll use yarn in color B. Now I'll knit the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Then I'll turn my work around. Then I'll knit the next four stitches.
I'll turn my work around then I use yarn in color A then I'll knit the rest of the stitches until I have only two stitches left at the end of this row I have only two stitches left, I'll knit the first stitch, then I'll purl the last stitch. For the next row, I'll turn my work around. I'll start by purling the first two stitches. Then I'll knit all the stitches throughout this row. this row. Here uh, you see like this is like considered as in this pattern this is considered as one flower so see this is one flower and here on this side we have one two three so depending on how large you want your slipper to be the reason we did the edging on one side different because we wanted it to look this way see because my mom seems to believe that it's more neat that way so here like I said depending on the size of the slippers you want you might need three of these flowers, four or five. It totally depends on the size of a foot you're making this for. So see now if we have four of these flowers. I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm going to measure it, my work. So I have the widest part measures 18 inches. The small part. measures nine and a half inches. So now we're gonna finish off these stitches. So I will knit this first stitch, then I'll knit the next stitch. I'll insert my left needle through this first stitch and pass it over the second stitch. Knit the next stitch. I insert my left needle through this first stitch and pass it over the second stitch. Knit the next stitch. I insert my left needle through this first stitch and pass it over the second stitch. Knit the next stitch, insert the left needle to the first stitch, and pass it over the second stitch. So we repeat this until we have only one stitch left. So now that I have only one stitch left, I will chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. So now we need to pull out some stitches from the widest part. So right here through this first stitch I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through the slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll skip one stitch and through a second stitch I'll pull one stitch out. I'll skip one chain and through a second chain I'll pull one stitch out. Skip one chain and through a second chain we need to pull one stitch out like that. Skip the next chain through a second chain we need to pull one stitch out. And we repeat this until we reach the end of this row. So now that we have pulled the stitches out from every second chain, uh, on how many stitches you end up with, that totally depends on how many rows you did and how large you want your slippers to be. So now, for the first row, I'll knit all the stitches throughout this row. And again, I'll knit all the stitches throughout this row. So we'll continue knitting all the stitches until we have six rows in total. And this is the second row. So we repeat this until we have six rows in total. So we'll continue knitting every stitch until we have six rows of knitted stitches. To leave four stitches in the center. I have four stitches in the center and I have 27 on the left side and 27 on the right side. So I place a stitch marker right here after every 27th stitch and then I have four stitches left right here in the center. Now for the next row, now for the next row I'll knit all the stitches until I reach the first stitch marker.
Oh, I'll knit these two stitches together. Then I'll knit these four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And now I'll knit the next two stitches together. Now I'll turn my work around. Slip this first stitch into my left needle. Then I'll knit these two stitches together. Now I'll knit the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And now again I'll knit the next two stitches together. Again now I'll turn my work around. I'll slip this first stitch into my left needle. Then I'll knit these two stitches together. Now I'll knit the next four stitches. I'll knit the next two stitches together. Then I'll turn my work around. I'll slip this first stitch into my left needle. Then I'll knit these two stitches together. And now I'll knit the next four stitches. I'll knit the next two stitches together. Again, I'll turn my work around. I'll slip this first stitch into my left needle, then I'll knit these two stitches together. I'll knit the next four stitches. I'll knit the next two stitches together. I'll turn my work around. I'll slip this first stitch into my left needle, then I'll knit these two stitches together. I'll knit the next four stitches. Then I'll knit the last two stitches together. Super, I have only six stitches left. I'll turn my work around. I'll knit these first two stitches together. Then I'll knit the next two stitches together. I'll knit the next two stitches together. Then I'll turn my work around. Again now, I'll knit these two stitches together. Then I'll pass this first stitch into my left needle. And again, I'll knit these two stitches together. I have only one loop left. I will chain one. I need I'll join these two sides together. Finish slipper looks.